again, details matter because this is a man. This is an American citizen, a Navy veteran. This is a human being. And so what he actually did should be of deep concern to every American because he's in jail tonight. What Jacob Chansley actually did was wander peacefully through the Capitol, shepherded by Capitol police officers who literally opened doors for him. When one was locked, they went to another. Dozens of officers stood and watched him. All of them had guns. Jacob Chansley did not. They never told Jacob Chansley to get out. The head of the Capitol Police today said he was trying to calm the situation. It was already calm. He was the only protester in the frame. They could have let him outside. They didn't. They helped him. We're not going to speculate as to why. We don't know why. All we know is what we see on the tape, and no one disputes it. We didn't cherry pick it. We didn't make it up. Once inside the Senate chamber, as we told you, Chansley said a prayer thanking God for the kindness of Capitol Hill police. And good for him, they were kind. This was not a domestic terrorist. And that matters. But what matters even more is that the videos that we showed you after 26 months were not shown to Jacob Chansley's attorneys. That's a violation of the Constitution. And he's in jail because of it. Because the liars on the January 6th committee and the prosecutors who did their bidding, and that means Benny Thompson, and that means Adam Schiff, it means Liz Cheney, these people have this man's life on their hands. They helped withhold these videos from Jacob Chansley's attorneys. And that means the judge who sentenced Jacob Chansley, Royce Lamberth, never saw them either. And therefore, Lamberth was able to say, Judge Lamberth was able to say, that what Chansley did was, quote, horrific. He apparently had no idea that Chansley was wandering around with the cops, walking through doors they opened, and saying prayers for them. We're quoting, you made yourself the center of the riot, said the judge. Really? He accused Chansley of, quote, obstruction, obstructing the functioning of government. But that's not at all what was happening. He was ambling through the Capitol, flanked at all times by armed cops who were directing his movement. Meanwhile, prosecutors of the DOJ, the real villains here, falsely, they lied in court and said that Chansley was, quote, leading the charge into the Capitol on January 6th. They said he was, quote, the flag bearer for the mob, apparently because he had a flag. He was alone. And of course, the media picked up on this and amplified it as the DOJ intended. Fortune magazine disgraced itself by comparing the man you just saw to ISIS. They said Chansley had, quote, the zeal to possibly kidnap or kill officials. These aren't just lies. These are lies that destroyed a man. So no matter who you voted for in the last election, you could probably agree that send, sending someone to prison for four years on the basis of fabricated evidence is the most serious threat to civil liberties we could possibly face. And yet here's the thing. Leaders in both parties, the party that Chansley voted against and the party he voted for, 